And I believe that the anointing of the Lord has been here to fulfill the desire of those early settlers to take the gospel from America throughout the world. And that's what we've been here to do. But let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't take a, uh, a great scholar to tell you that the United States has lost its moorings. When you think that courts have denied children the right to pray in schools, that there's a vendetta against religious belief, that now homosexuality has been made a constitutional right, that abortion has been made a constitutional right, that courts and judges have trampled on the early origins of our nation. They have distorted the meaning of the First Amendment. It's all been done, and we've let it happen. But I was reading today about a place called Sodom and Gomorrah, and a man named Abraham stood before God, and he says, God... There are righteous people in that, in that city. Would you kill them along with the, the wicked? Must not the judge of all the earth do right? And God finally promised, if I can find ten righteous in that city, I will spare it. Just ten. Well, the time came he could only find six, and so they destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. But there are many righteous here in America, and we need to band together and pray that God Almighty will spare this great land and reestablish in our hearts the vision of our early pioneers.